Hello, today I will discuss about Ray syndrome. The Ray syndrome is a rare, acute, often fatal encephalopathy. This is an acute, often fatal encephalopathy. with fulminant hepatitis fulminant hepatitis in the children associated with associated with aspirin or salicylate intake aspirin that is salicylate intake during or following A viral infection okay viral infection like chicken pox or varicella infection chicken pox or influenza or other viral infections influenza Okay, so we got the definition, a rare, acute, often fatal encephalopathy of childhood marked by fulminant hepatitis in children associated with aspirin salicylate intake during or following a viral infection like chickenpox or influenza. Okay, so we have some temporal association, some epidemiologic association like the viral infection like chickenpox or varicella infection, varicella infection or influenza or other viral infection. So we have aspirin or aspirin like substances like bismuth salicylate okay so like that aspirin or aspirin like substances or the oil of wintergreen aspirin or aspirin like substances like bismuth salicylate or oil of wintergreen okay so we got that these are the association so infection viral infection aspirin intake so organ damage are the liver so what is the pathogenesis in the liver there will be fatty infiltration, fatty infiltration, okay, we call it the microvesicular steatosis, microvesicular steatosis. Okay, microvesicular steatosis and mitochondrial damage, mitochondrial damage to 
the cell like the hepatocyte okay so there is mitochondrial DNA so that may be associated here liver in the in the brain will get the encephalopathy there will be cerebral edema edema and increased intracranial pressure increased intracranial pressure intracranial pressure okay so liver and brains are affected so as because liver is affected so there will be some metabolic problem we we'll get liver and lung fatty infiltration. We may get hepatomegaly, enlargement of the liver. Patient may have hypoglycemia. Glycemia. Okay. In the brain, we we'll get the CSF. It is not. It is not an infection. Okay. It is encephalo. Pathy. Okay, so CSA will show less leukocytes. Leukocytes. Okay, and we'll get increased intracranial pressure, increased CSA pressure. Pressure. So we got that. So is because brain is edematous, increase intracranial pressure. We'll get this patient will show drowsiness, drowsiness, convulsion, coma, and possible death. Okay, this is an acute condition, often fatal condition. And case fatality rate is around case fatality rate is 25% to 50%. Okay. It's a rare disease, not very common in the United States during the seven in in nineteen seventies it was about 300 to 600 cases after mid 80 it number decreases so it is less than 20 in a year in the united states so rare disease rare complication due to intake of aspirin so we got the case fatality and how can you diagnose this case diagnose history from the patient and certainly signs of increase in intracranial pressure so we'll find out the features of increase in intracranial pressure and in the liver we'll get all liver function test function test we'll see increased transaminases Transaminases, AST level will be aminases. Okay, suppose AST level will be high, the liver. Okay, so we can do liver biopsy. Liver biopsy is another way to diagnose this case. Okay, now management and prevention management management is supportive supportive like increase internal pressure it should be decreased it should be decreased by means of osmotic diuresis okay like osmotic diuresis 
of like mannitol or 25% glucose that will also cover the hypoglycemia of the patient. So like mannitol or the 25% glucose infusion, okay. So management is give oxygen, okay. fluid, this patient may have dehydration, so fluid supportive management. So prevention, prevention by vaccination, vaccines for chickenpox, vaccine for influenza flu and other viral vaccines, all the scheduled viral vaccines and prevention is aspirin or aspirin product are contraindicated are contraindicated acetaminophen may be used acet acetaminophen or the paracetamol or the Tylenol may be used if it is required but no aspirin in children in fever management no aspirin because a lot of viral infections may happen that may be associated with Ray syndrome and that may lead to hepatic encephalopathy and that's all about the Ray syndrome if you like my video please support my channel please share the information with your friends if you have any question please feel free to ask me and have a nice day bye now